Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome to another Buzzing Walkabout here on Buzzing Pattaya. And to today's topic, and it is uh, five things that you really do need to know about uh, if you're pursuing the avenue of freelancers here in the city. Uh, now there's a lot of discussion about this, a lot of pros, a lot of cons. Uh, I'm gonna go through the top five things that you must know if you are gonna dabble in the freelance world. Uh, I'm starting down here at Walking Street. I'm actually gonna go along Walking Street. There's a lot of changes down here I've been noticing. I've walked up here to get to this point, I'm gonna walk back now. Um, but there's a lot of things going on here I wanna show you, some big changes as well. Uh, it's now coming up for five o'clock. Uh, I've chosen this time because it's, it's busy enough now, but without the places being open, you don't need them to be open. You know what happens if it's open, the girls will die for cover and all the rest of it, and it's just an unnecessary headache. So I thought I'll come down here right now, and uh, we can just cover off stuff while we walk around. So. Uh, where am I? I'm at the far end of Walking Street. I'm up by the Bally High Pier and we're going to head back towards Beach Road and finish off hopefully round about down by the uh, Patea Beer Garden. So let me spin the camera around. So right now, uh, I'll tell you a place that I am going to go to. You see this orange sign here? This is the Love Inn Museum and it's just down there on that inn, just on the left hand side where that gentleman's walking. Uh, I will go in there and have a look at it. I don't know what to expect on it but uh, I'll go down and have a look. And of course if you go up that way, that takes you around to where the Bally High uh, ticket office is and you can head your way over to Kolan. So, freelancers. It's a really hot topic and what I'd like guys is please share your comments below, your experiences, uh, good and bad. You know, if you've had a negative experience and maybe you've been on the wrong end of the receiving end, then, uh, you know, guys, please be nice with each other. It's all about a community, about sharing experience so each of us learn from each other. I know there's a boots here now, that wasn't here years ago. Not quite sure why you'd have a boot set, but anyway. So, regarding freelancers, the one thing to be very aware of is when you're walking around the town, particularly if you're not in any of the bars, the actual bar areas, uh, don't just take it for, for granted that all the girls that you see are actually freelancers. What you may or may not find is that uh, some of the girls might be down with their friends uh, from Bangkok or whatever. They might just be girls out on a night out and uh, You've got to be very aware that not everybody, uh, or not all the girls are freelancers, so it's nice to see that's reopened. Uh, so be very aware of that because it's just not a straightforward yes or no situation. And of course, the downside is if that you approach a lady thinking she's a freelancer, she may, um, I'll just say the words may, may take offence to your advances. So just be aware of that. So anyway, so you're in here, you're in the, you're in the heart of Walking Street, and uh, this is predominantly the most uh, busiest area in terms of freelancers. Of course, you've got the Patea Beer Garden, if you remember the, the green and the red coasters. If you remember those, then you've been here a while. And uh, Beach Road, we used to call it the Coconut Bar. And uh, that's because of all the coconut trees down there. And the girls used to stand by the trees. And uh, as you walk past, you would get uh, all kinds of interesting offers. So regarding the, uh, the situation, one of the things you need to be aware of is there is no point of contact. If you do go down the freelancer route, and at the end of the day, it's each to their own, uh, just diversifying quickly. This is the Windy Inn. Stayed here many, many times. And uh, 800 baht for the room there, 1,000 baht for the room in front. And those stairs, see them stairs there? That's where I had my jewel lady boy experience. I walked up them stairs, and a few hours later, I hobbled back down them. I'll leave that to your imagination. So regarding no point of contact, you know, you go into a bar, you've got a given point of contact as to know where she is, where she works. Also, you'll know where the mamasan is or the boss if you have any problems. And I don't want this to be a doom and gloom video. I want this to be a video purely about tips and advice about what may or may not go wrong if you do go down this route. So please be very aware, guys, that there are some situations that you really do need to be aware of. And you might be thinking, say, well, I don't need a point of contact. There you go, remember that burnt down, the Nasha Club? Look at it now in all its glory. Yeah, that's one hell of a sign. But the reason you may need a point of contact is if something goes wrong. You know, as fast as these ladies appear online, they can quite easily disappear, leaving you high and dry, and you've got nowhere to go back to in order to try and pursue whatever it is that may or may not have happened that you want to clarify and get right. So, you know, with no point of contact, it does leave you very, very vulnerable, especially if things do go wrong. So, uh, you know, one thing to be aware of, you know, we all know how social media works. Yeah, give me your line, give me this, and then two seconds later, blocked, deleted, and you are left high and dry. And 
the rules of probability are the girls are not stupid, especially if you're on holiday and you've told them that. They're gonna know our SK be here for like two weeks, three weeks. They'll just move on to a different area, await that time to pass, and then they'll just go back. Another thing to talk about, and you know, it's not a nice thing to talk about, but it's something that you should be aware of. And that is STD checks. You know, you go to these freelance situations, you've got no idea as to what they do in terms of maintaining their own personal hygiene and stuff like that. They certainly don't have to get checks. Look at this, there's another big building on the corner. We're at Soy 16 here, and I'll just talk about something about that in a second. But with the STDs, you know, you've got to be very careful, guys. You know, you can pick up all kinds of diseases. So it goes back to, again, you know, taking the prevention into your own hands. Bag up, guys. Use a condom. You know, keep yourself away from, from harm. Talking about uh, keeping yourself away, although it wasn't harmful, but if you go up there, just on the right hand side, who remembers X Zone? Now, X Zone was a place and a half. My Lord, it was one of the first few places I went to. I went to the windmill. My eyes popped out me head there, and then I was taken to X Zone. And uh, if you remember Exxon, then you know, I don't need to say it to you, you know, I won't go through it, but then you'll understand what Exxon was all about. But my Lord, it was something different on a whole different level. And uh, great fun, absolutely great fun. So yeah, you know, things to think about are, you know, the, the sexual disease that may or may not be transmitted between you, particularly if you don't bag up and you run the risk, you know. You are putting yourself in that situation where it may not be good and, uh, Again, if you've got no point of contact, well, what are you gonna do? And look at this, this is brand new. This used to be the beer bar complex, remember? And uh, they knocked it down, and now it's really, really nice. Look at that. Just put the camera up there, look, lovely. Really nice. It's called Two Brothers Restaurant and Coffee Bar. And uh, there's so much going on down here at the moment. So much going on. All this building work. Uh, next thing, social media with freelancers. Come on, guys. How many of you have seen a photo and thought, wow, man, she's hot. And as a photographer here, having taken many, many photos for thousands of girls, I know all the tricks in the trade to how to make a girl that maybe, let's say, is a bit more cuddly than she wants to appear, a lot thinner. Uh, maybe she's got uh, some acne on her face and she needs that removing, all those kind of things. It's so easy. And you don't need to be a photographer to do it. It's very, very simple. A lot of these apps nowadays, especially like social media apps, they can do it all for you. They, they press this button called beauty and away you go, you look a million dollars. So with social media, be very, very careful because you may think you're gonna walk in and greet a princess and you may turn up with Cruella de Vil. So, you know, be very, very aware that social media is not all that it seems. You may even find that she perhaps isn't a she and is a he. And then what do you do? You know, then you're in that situation again where you're faced with all these kind of dilemmas because you believe what you read and what you saw on social media. So it really isn't black and white like you may seem. And while we're on the subject of black, there you go, there's insomnia. If you are looking for freelancers, that is definitely a hot spot for freelancers. Go in there, go upstairs, and uh, you will find many, many, many freelance ladies in there. And it's a great place, very, very popular. Even now, right now, you know, when we're in the lowest of low seasons, it's really, really popular. So uh, just be, uh, be aware of that. Don't know why he was doing that. Maybe he's got a coat hanger under his uh, shirt still. Don't know. Anyway, let's keep going down here. So yeah, so like I say, with social media, be very, very careful. All is not what you see. Now you found a freelancer and she's ticked all your boxes. She is what she appeared on the social media side of things. And uh, you know, you're happy to run the risk of bagging up, whatever. And despite the fact you've got no contact, the next question you're gonna ask yourself is where are you gonna go, guys? Where are you gonna go? If you're gonna find a room somewhere, where is that room? Is it in a place where you can remain quite safe? If it's down a back street or a narrow alley, or areas where you, know, you don't really wanna be wandering, you know, again, just think about the inevitable. I know it's horrible to say it like this and I don't wanna paint a negative picture, but I just wanna give you an open-minded view about what things can and have and have happened over the years and uh, especially, particularly with, with freelancers. So whilst you might be bagging yourself a bargain in your eyes, remember that there are a lot of things that run against you 
once you are saving a few bark. I'm talking about saving a few bark, what's going on here? Look at this, wow. It's a big old uh, renovation going on. Can't remember what's in this one. What was this used to be? Let's poke our head in and have a look, see what's going on. All right, yeah. a lot of work going on there. There's a digger in there. Jesus Christ, he's only just got that in. Fair play for that. There you are. Looking good. Looking good. Whatever. Side of cab, side of cab. All right. So, we do have quite a few places along here. Walking Street is very well known for the freelance uh, opportunities here. You've got other nightclubs that I'll show you when we head up in a minute. But like I say guys, just please, please, please be aware. And like I said earlier, you know, if you have had a situation and you don't mind sharing it, please share it. And guys, don't be rude to each other. You know, if someone shares a disaster and uh, you know, people start getting on at them, I will delete the comments. It's not about having to go at people. We all make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. It's just part and package of the, you know, what goes on here. And uh, we learn from them. That's the only thing you can do is just learn from them. So please don't get on at each other if, they, if people do share situations that maybe have gone pear-shaped. Now just over here, here's another popular place, Lucifer. So music cafe here on the left-hand side. That's a really nice uh, live band venue in there. And just to the right, see where the guys in the white t-shirt there? If you go into there, that is Lucifer. And uh, really, really nice place. Modern, modern vibe in there. Lots and lots of freelancers in there as well. So again, and if you don't feel up to the, up to the scratch, you think, oh, I'm not really dressed to impress, go next door there, just fashion. Get yourself a Bobby Dazzler and go in there and uh, check yourself out. Not that, do you know what someone said to me the other day? Our oh, women judge you by the way you dress. Honestly, they really don't. You might think they do. Some of them might say they do, but honestly, they just care about how many drinks you're going to buy and what's in your wallet. They're really not that bothered. They really aren't. Oh, and they see their little Apple Agogo. -go. That used to be called Ginza. I used to do photos for them. And next door is, uh, hello boss, sweaty cab. Uh, it's the glass house. Uh, I, I don't know if he's still there, but Rich used to be the owner manager there. And, uh, used to be Ginza there, which was all themed for Korean and Japanese people. They had very white skinned girls in there, very thin, very petite girls. And uh, they, uh, they edged their way towards that, uh, that market. And there you go, Monroe Russian Girls Club. You know, each to their own. I'm not here to judge about what, uh, you know, what's, what you ticks your boat, but I just don't get the logic in coming out here to Thailand, which is obviously Asia, and then chasing yourself down some Russian girls, which incidentally, will cost you an arm and a leg, and I really do mean that, an absolute arm and a leg. Uh, here's Candy Shop, and upstairs is 808 again, another good freelance place. <laughs> okay, bye. Um, so here's Candy Shop. So again, a lot of the girls will sit outside here, and they'll just uh, chill out, relax. You can go in there, they have a live band at the back, very, very good. Uh, a great place to come here and just uh, chill out, enjoy the evening as it unfolds. And again, more freelancers. And lastly, the one last thing I want to say about freelancers before we wrap this up, is situations that can go wrong. Remember I mentioned about going to maybe a, a B, uh, not B&B, &B, sorry, a, a room for rent for the hour, etc. You know, what you may, and I, again, I don't like doing these videos, but it's important you know the, the score. You know, you might find if you go to some of these uh, hidden rooms, or these, these uh, little rooms around the back streets, suddenly you might find there's a situation as if by magic there's a knock on the door and there's a guy in a policeman's outfit. Now you've got to have the balls to be able to A, tell him to produce his ID and make sure he is who he says he is. And also if he is a real policeman and he's on the, he's on the make with her, then you know, you've got to try and figure all that out. It's very, very you know, open to abuse. So please, please, please be very, very careful. This used to be the old frog bar complex. Who remembers that? Look at it now, lovely. Really nice. And you know, I don't come down in the evenings. It's not because I don't want to. It's just that at the end of the day, you know, when you start wanging a camera around at the night time, people die for cover and I get all that. You know, the last thing I want to do is catch people on the camera in a situation they don't want to be in. I don't mind riding around on the motorbike because I generally don't put the camera inside the bars. I just keep them out on the straight and narrow. So uh, this is lovely, look at these, sweet corn. I can't remember what they're called. Any Canom Jim, Jamaica, Canom Jim? And he, oh, may, may, and he can on Jim? No, 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 Jim, coconut. Coconut, oh, okay, there you go. Brilliant, oh, there you go, look at that, wow. Thank you very much, but have a great day. And over there, another nightclub ready for refurbishment. 
and uh, season it. If you like your fresh fish, uh, this is caught straight out the back there. They bring the truck in, and uh, where's the fish? Let me show you the fish. Hang on. Oh, he's nailed it down. Don't worry. Hello, boss. Well, look at they're, they're preparing all the uh, all the fresh fish there. Look at that. And then the lobsters and the uh, big. I think it's called a crayfish. I, think. I don't actually know what it's called. Looks nice though. Anyway, we'll leave them to it. All right. Oh, that, I'll tell you what, stood by that ice was bloody lovely. I'm flipping sweat me gonads off here. But, uh, yeah. So anyway, going back to the freelancers. Oh, so, <laughs> you know me by now, I can't keep on the, phone, on the theme. Look at this. Zeus, it's called Zeus. Oh, nice. Right, we'll go out of Walking Street and then we'll wrap this up. Um, but yeah, going back to the, uh, the freelancers, guys, you know, just be careful, that's all I'll say to you. Please, just be careful. Don't think, you know, don't take things for granted. Always keep your wits about you. Stay ahead of the game, guys. Stay ahead of the game. And, uh, you know, if that's your thing, no dramas. But I'm just giving you a few incidents that you may want to consider that later on might potentially come back and bite you on the arse. So just be very, very aware. Okay, so we're now at the very beginning. We're at the beginning of Walking Street. And uh, the only reason I've done it this route, I'll tell you the reason why, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I park my bike down here, so parking my bike down here means I can walk back down and I don't have to, uh, if I walked up, I'd have to walk down, whereas this way, I'd have to, uh, I've, lost me, I've lost myself now, no, no, I, I did this because I could park my bike and walk back to it, oh, I don't know, whatever it is, yeah, look, look, I want to go here, how much is that, please, you're just about to get mugged right off, you should have jumped on, 10 bar, excuse me, what? There you go, you are going to get fleeced, girls. They're going to rob you. That's the other thing as well, guys. Like, please be aware, like with the Bart buses, all right? It's a very simple comp, uh, very simple system. You literally, you see the Bart buses that are right up here in the middle, you see some coming up there. All you got to do, guys, is very easily stick your hand out, they'll stop. It is 10 Bart. Never, ever ask the price because you're now going to look at 100 Bart, maybe a bit more. So you don't need to ask the price, guys. It literally is 10 bar. So uh, just uh, never ask a bar bus driver. Hello, mate, how much is it? Ah, oh, for you, normally 200, I'll give you a discount 150. That's a bargain, thank you very much. I'll have two rides. Here we go, let's go out here. Now, one of the old, I mentioned it earlier on in the video, the Patea Beer Garden, I just walked past it. And what we'll do is we'll go down this way and I'll show you a side down the view. And back in the day, I think, I can't remember the words now, help me out guys. Green I think was interested and red was not interested, or green is looking, there you go, right there on the corner. It's yet to pick up speed in terms of freelancing, but that used to be a great freelancer heaven. It was very, very popular. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, as with a lot of the things that are going on right now, it's, uh, it's struggling a little bit. Well, not struggling, it's still good, but it's uh, struggling in terms of freelancers returning. Because a lot of girls now, you know, they've gone home. You know, they're working from home. You know, they'll do a video for you for $20, all that kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, the incentive now to come back is far less than what it used to be. And I don't blame them. You know, I actually respect them. I think fair play. If you can do what you want to do at home and make enough money without having to come here, well, then fair play to you. We're all entitled to do whatever we want to do in order to have a nice life. And talking to nice, look at that. Take that view in for a second. There you go. I'm so happy the sun's gone. It's been really hot lately. Even though we've had a lot of uh, rain, it's been really, really hot. There you are. All right, let's just spin it around. All right, guys, so a uh, quick couple of updates for you. Please have a look at our TikTok uh, account. I will put the link in the description of this video. I'm gonna keep pushing it out a lot because what we're gonna do with TikTok is I can't utilize the hotel reviews the restaurant reviews, I want to do like uh, business reviews like beauty and dental and all these kind of things. And I can't saturate YouTube with them because I actually get penalized by doing too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, TikTok. We're going to use two platforms and I'll put links to both down below. Platform number one is TikTok. And that is going to be designed purely for hotel reviews. We're going to do lots of reviews, two or three reviews every day. We'll go in, we'll make little 10, 15 second uh, snippets so you can just get a quick brief overlook at each hotel. We're adding more and more videos each day, so please bear with us. It's not a five second job, but we are working very hard on it. 
Likewise on Instagram. Uh, Instagram, I will be showing you uh, daily lineups from the girls' bars here. Uh, we've been speaking to many, many bar owners and said, look, can we come down and just do a, a lineup of your girls and they just walk past and wave and, you know, wave and blow your kiss, all that kind of stuff. Uh, we've had such a positive response, so we're going to do that, uh, which will complement the members area. Now, the members area uh, is going to be a slightly different one. That's the members area that's uh, uh, a paid for uh, access. But the Instagram and the TikTok will be available for free. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. The whole logic of what we're doing is we want to try and get as many people on there to follow us as possible, get as many views, and later on I can go back to the said businesses and see if we can have a monetization opportunity. Maybe they want to sponsor a set of videos, whatever. I don't know, but I'm just going to be up front here. All right, that's it today. Whew. Tell you what, it's lovely. Bloody caps. So uh, that's it for me today. I hope you've enjoyed today's walk around. Like I say, you know, I'm not saying don't go down that route. I'm just saying be aware of the things that may or may not go wrong should you choose to go down the freelancer route. And incidentally, the coconut bar, if I spin this around now over my shoulder there, that's why we call it the coconut bar, because you go down there, all the coconut trees. And uh, back in the day, it used to be great. The police have been random up a lot now, but it used to be great, go down there. Me and my mate Nick, who lives down in Wahin, we used to go down there. We used to walk all the way down to Soy Six. And the propositions we would get on route were fantastic. We were absolutely fantastic. Anyway, enough about that. So that's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, as always, please remember to hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when I bring out a new video. Uh, have a look on Discord. There's over 13,500 members and it's totally free of charge. Have a look on there. There's lots of information there and uh, some great people in there that can share far more experience and knowledge than I have. Like I say, please have a look at our TikTok and our Instagram. The links uh, to those will be down in the description of the video below. So have a look at those, please. It would be much appreciated. And if you'd like to support the channel in our members area, there is a link on our website, buzzingpatea.com. Have a look on the left-hand menu, bottom icon, click on that, and it will show you there what I can't show you on here. And please be aware, guys, it is not the members area there. You will join, you will get an email, and the email will tell you the new website that you need to go to just to register, and then your account will be activated. All right, that's it for me, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and please, as always, wherever you are in the world, stay safe.